Hello friends, this video explain about the razor syntax in ASP.NET MVC. Let's look at index view again. In general, we do not have too much logic in a views. Since one of the guiding principle of MVC is separation of concern. But sometimes the easiest way to dynamically display things in the little bit embedded the C sharp. So in this file at the top we can see one way the razor syntax can be used. We have add the right sign with curly brace and inside the curly brace we can write a C sharp code as if we write in the CS file. Here we setting a value for view bag title property using normal C sharp assignment statement ending with semicolon. Let's look at another type of razor syntax at the bottom of the page. We will show some dynamic text which browser using show the web page. Here we will use the at the rate request dot browser to show the browser name. After refresh the index page here below you can see it will show the browser name below on the index view. Here we can see the view engine pretty smart about the HTML ints and C sharp begin is vice versa. For example, it does not have problem with comma right after browser here. Here also view engine confuse about email address which contains at the rate sign. Another way we can use the razor syntax is by creating a inline helper method. Inline helper method to simplify a display logic. We do this with the at the rate helper method which allows us to create method that we can call from another way to expression on code block. Let's say I want add some logic around how amount some transaction is formatted. If amount is greater than 1000, the amount is shown in red, everything else to be green. I can create a method called maximum amount that takes integer inside the method. We will initialize color to be green. But if the amount is greater than 1000, then it will be changed to the red. We can use add the rate sign to switch back to C sharp when necessary. I am going to format as a currency the amount. Then anywhere in the page, even above the helper method, I can call this method. For example, create a generic list of integer. This is we have some testing data. Let's format this amount in a list for each loop. Again, just an easily I can embed the C sharp code in my markup. I can put markup inside the code blocks. Let's take a look. We can simply refresh the index page. There is no need to compile and there is nice formatted list of the maximum amount. Another thing that can be confused the view engine the plain text inside the code block. You can see that it's treating as a C sharp code. The MVC provided two way to show the simple inline text. First one, you can wrap this text inside the text tag or you can use add the rate sign with colon and now write down the simple text. We can use normal C sharp syntax inside the code file. If we want to comment the view code, we use at the rate asterisk sign and the reverse at the end. Now I am going to the comment the code. We are using the at the rate asterisk. And this code block is commented now. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.